least three pieces. I wonder how far you go once I punch it. The colors did correspond. Anyways, I'm winning. Big surprise. I got a big surprise right here. Thanks, bud. All right, guys. I want to say welcome to a new walkthrough that we're doing. I know I'm still doing Far Cry 6. I think I have like two hours left in the game. Sorry I didn't finish that walkthrough on time because I was doing Back for Blood and stuff. And I finished I, I finished that game. That game is terrible. Um, I probably released this lost footage. You can skip this part if you want to. You, you want to watch the rest of the gameplay. But there's a lost feed footage on, the, um, on my PC of me raging at back for blood because that solo campaign is trash for real it, that game is designed for multiplayer um uh, besides that uh far cry 6 I'm almost done with that game too i still got some footage i need to upload that to youtube i'm basically done with the game um i had some stuff going on you know in my personal life and you know cars and all good stuff it's not all bad stuff it's good stuff that's been happening really good stuff really good people too good stuff but yeah, uh, so we're doing this walkthrough, Marvel Galaxy. Yes, and we're doing this. So let's go ahead and do this. And also, I had to script the title of the screen because it was a pan playing a whole crap ton of, you know, copyrighted music. And, you know, YouTube don't like us to have fun on this channel. We're not allowed to play copyrighted songs on this channel. But that being said, let's go ahead and rock and roll. I'm not gonna lie, this looks better. Coming for Far Cry 6, the frame rate and the quality of the graphics look better than Far Cry 6. I will give them that. <clears throat> this actually looks next gen. Kind of. Except for that, you know, the moss that's grown on the side of the, you know, house. But... And they're playing more copyrighted music, and this probably will end up getting copyrighted. So. Something that you can't escape. Empty this. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I am so sorry. Let's see audio. Let's see music volume. Turn the music volume like down or something. Let's see, cause I don't want you two to pick it up. Let's see. I'm gonna turn it right here. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Someone's gonna just like bust through the room or something. Like, like, what are we doing? He's gonna get up, or do I have to keep reading it? Let me read this. Hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm-hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars, and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. Hmm. 
Hmm, no subtitles. Interesting. There we go. I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. <laughs> Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh, what is this? I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Andy to buy it with his paper out money. You can interact with a guitar. Need to build up my calluses. Can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Had to spam B to put it away. Oh, whatever. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. <laughs> Yo, I low key. When I seen Ruby's cues when I was young, I always thought that like this is the best way to cheat. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, interact with this. Come on, dude. Keep hitting those dingers, George. And you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Yeah, it's like that sometimes with movies. <clears throat> Peter Quill. Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, Peter wake, Quill. Up. wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. They're oh, approaching real. the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacor. 
Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't... Got the brains. Ha! <laughs> Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <sighs> arrested? If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <gasps> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacor ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. That and silly helmets. <laughs> nice Gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up. And these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get back to it. Sounds like catching that monster will be easier than we thought. Yeah, the faster we catch it, the faster we get paid. My chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? <laughs> I was uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still got to catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. It appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort. Is there? Should have put it in wrong to see what happened. There was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Ronit. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. 
The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoth Nine than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend. For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quell, Soda. Team Rocket's up first. Oh, Team Rocket. Yeah, they're blasting off for I still do not understand <laughs> I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. Hit. Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. For one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Tamora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Ah. Oh, can you imagine? I am good. What, the pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. It's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I didn't mean toxic, toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth, toxic. All right, let's just go. Man, these missiles were devastating during the war. Wonder if any still work. You tell me, visor boy. After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am Groot. <laughs> you, you can't bluff your way out of a planting pot. Wouldn't mind seeing the specs of these babies. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, I'm always careful. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous. Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Every no, 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 no. Go back. No. Whatever. No, I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Guess it is kind of poetic. Whoa! Look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, check out the serious intel I got from, you know, shady sources. Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, Sure, we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. I'm okay. Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know. I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Lark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. 
Oh, I'm gonna. Whoa! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me. All right. Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Throw your hands up in the air, say we! All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Take that, brittle stuff. Did he just walk up Ugh. there without jumping? I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would shoot right through the Milano in two cycles. I'm gonna say, so far, what I noticed about this game, this game is looks well polished and well done compared to Marvel Avengers. So this game looks promising Optimal so far. Optimal bumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better. Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over, Groot. I want to see if he's alive. I am Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacor missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. That is exactly the kind of scrap we're looking for. Way to go, buddy. Don't be so modest. I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. No, oh, I wanted to say I was about to turn to bring down the oh, house. Don't die, don't die, don't die. They still in my jokes. Oh, guy. What is <laughs> ah! Whoa, what the fuck? You dead, <laughs> I should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. What if I go around this way? Oh no, open the place! Hey, if Quill dies, can we all get a bigger cut? Our leader's safety is your paramount concern, Rodent. Well, I don't care for punching it. Dude, just punch it and see what happens. Oh, one hit KO? Oh, I am all about that. I am all about that one hit KO. Let's go. I'm all about that. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. oh. Play kickball. <laughs> it's like elementary school all over again. <laughs> Yo, Quill, you all right? Actually, I'm having fun. Everything okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with. Hmm. I'll look at this later. We should look at it now. What is this? I'll just check all this stuff out later.
outfit. Not funny. How's Team Rocket doing down there? We're fine. Waiting for Quill to show up. Your team was tasked with keeping Peter Quill safe. Am I supposed to fall in holes instead of him? Yes. His fragile Terran frame cannot handle the impact. I hope she's legit. Like, you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. If we set up all these thumpers and no monster shows, we just need to salvage what scrap we can and haul it back with us. Yeah, scrubbing off all that nano resin would take forever. If it even comes off. Just trust me. Mother of Scott! Move! Oh, my <laughs> Are you kidding me? Son of a smash! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. You know what? Blast! Right in the Nords. Rocket. Gross. 50 units says I can pop more parasites than you. What's that scoreboard doing on my visor, Rocket? You like it? Hacked it into your visor last time you took a snooze. Really? Come on, one point per nest. I don't love you messing with my stuff while I'm asleep. You seem to like it just fine when I fix them jet boots of yours. Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that mean? Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. Oh, we haven't this. talked about what to do if you run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, fuck that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. I am 
Nova Centurions probably had to tow all the scrap to one place. I am Groot. Sure, not really their job description, but Nova was spread pretty thin after the war. Hey, kept them off of my tail at least. Is this the battery? Found something with a charge. Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule. At best, you'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it. I'm waiting Here for next go. year. That'll to come. do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? From that. Just grab the battery and give it a yank. Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! <laughs> Another one down. Stick it to a group. Just keep Get out the way. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Get him. Easy for you to say. You've got a pointy. Thanks for the heads up, bud. Oh, great. Keep them, keep them away from that missile, Groot! Don't blow yourself up! So much... Lights out, eyeballs! Get out of here! Then keep your distance! Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Okay, I want to see you get up there. I don't see any okay. way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Quill, we found a way out. I am Groot. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys, we deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! Man! That thing is ridiculous! Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space-worthy. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my... Uh, uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. <laughs> the entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Yep, that was a bit of killing blow. Ha! Not even close! Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Wait, what, wait, what do you did? What did you do? I know, that was me! What? No! 
Quit cheating! Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot. Head. Hold on, wait, and wait, I wait, stop, stop. <laughs> chill out, chill out, <laughs> chill out. Let me get my score up. Oh, hey, what group, am I doing? What do you think I should do with the units I'm about to win off Quill? I mean when he gets money and then gives it to me. I'm not so giving you money, winning. sir. You're cheating. You're cheating! <laughs> Make him stop! I would, with the money. I would save it up for our next stop on the tracks and get one of those Zeronian massages. Keep dreaming. Where's the next one? Ha! Another one in the bank. Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hyper circuits. Wait. Boo! No one knows what those are. Did you take them, sir? Did you, sir? Sir? Sir, did you destroy all of them? Sir? No, come back, sir. Sir? 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 Wonder how many big bot carcasses we'd find looking around the entire zone. If it's I wonder how far at, you hit. We've seen at least three so far, or at least three pieces. I wonder how I far you go once I punch you. Torso. The colors did correspond. Anyways, I'm winning. Big surprise. I got a big surprise right here. Thanks, bud. All right, bumper goes there, Will. <laughs> It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Yeah, tell them that. Gotta love that kill radius. How's that even possible? <laughs> I don't snap. <laughs> I've gotten way more. Just kick it. Kick it some more. Kick it again. Get up, get up and just kick it some more. Oh no, I'm about to die. This is how you not play the games, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you not play the game. <laughs> oh, come on. Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started! Yeah, tell them that! <laughs> that one was juicy! Damn. Sorry to burst your bubble! Bubs away, Rocket! Down. 
Uh oh, it's time to go. <laughs> Nice. Get up, dude. Get up. I can't move. What is going on? I couldn't move. <laughs> Did you see that? Splat. I love the juicy ones. Hey, green team. Looks like we're done and stop. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. Just keep your eyes on that mining ship. That's where we want to end up. What's a mining ship doing in the middle of all these fighters anyway? Yeah, they don't call them casualties of war for nothing. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Jatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am Groot. That's right. I've always got your back, bud. I am Groot. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. I am Groot. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Oh. Oh, no! No! Oh. Ah! A moldy driftwood, you could have died saving me. I love you too, you selfless son of a chug. Come on, cool. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. Flark. His radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over! <laughs> I got rid of him. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Stop cheating! Oh, fine, anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, Groot's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. It'd be We're better if he stopped fine. cheating. Sure, sure, fine. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Ah, this turbine's right in the way. Gotta get through it. These things open up to let gas through, right? Yep. You saying we're the gas? Today we are, if we can get it open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. No. Oh. Hard to believe all this destruction's because some ugly flarkin' bugs got uppity. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. 
Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our cover points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. <laughs> Great, another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Imagine towing all this scut by hand, or by ship, technically. Maybe they retrofit their star blasters and still support that people And someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. I've been thinking about buying. Oh shoot! <laughs> no. It wasn't me this time, I swear. How are you still hitting stuff, sir? <laughs> no. Where is Ow. Larkin, son of a... I told you I saw them. Great timing. How did you guys... Good to see you two. You're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Drax says hurry it up here. Incoming! Watch out! What? Hang on! and cozy in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. Ah, crap! What? My visor went supernova. Is it broken? Uh, overloaded, sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Oh, come on! Larkin tensor joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Uh, okay, so life support screwed back up. What's it look like out there? Dark? Oh, oh. mother of space barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. It's just... Man. Swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. I don't know.
okay, buddy. Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. It just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? I am good. And I'm glad you're safe, too. <laughs> yep, just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Old beauty? I am Groot. A table! This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear? Hey, hand me that part. I am Groot. There ain't nothing spooky. It's an old ship is all. I am Groot. And dark. Sure. All right, you made your point. Wait, what is this? Above it. So, like, it says one for 400, so I want to go above, but, you know. Because it will make more sense because the one that's expensive, right? That means it's going to be worth it. But if I spend 100, that means I won't have enough for the one that's, that's okay, that's basic math. But anyway, since the game is making me do this, <laughs> Why not? Let's go ahead. It's all yours. No, I don't have enough. I am Groot. Yeah, there's a way through if we can clear out that crud. If you ask for a rubber ducky grenade, I'm gonna bite your toes off. Why do you tease me with crafting, Quill? Yeah, that's one stubborn bunch of lore. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep helping it. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. Oh, after you. Uh, no, you go first. I'll cover your back. <laughs> Amazing. Team Rocket. Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. 
Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Peter Quill, I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. have confounded the creature! We make a fine duo, Peter Quill. You stab him, I zap him! I'm on my way! No doubt you will be conveniently late. Ah, oh, crap. spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me nimble. It was not intended as a compliment. Anyone got any bright ideas? If 
you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covets the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. Oh, right here. That crate is being held up by this crane. We could free it, were it not out of reach. Helps to be nimble. Perhaps the assassin should scout ahead. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. Wait a minute, I just did that earlier. <laughs> that <is physically laughs> what? All right. Okay, sort of making progress. Drax, any thoughts? I am debating whether to employ the Kershagar lunge to subdue our monster, and whether that would be inadvertent or fatal. I mean for our current problem. First, we must find a way to climb up. Thanks for stating the obvious. All right. It's tall enough, but it's too far away. Sounds like Drax's time to shine. My skin does not contain bioluminescence. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! You can place it there. Done. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you moved. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. I am close. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh. Lock. Rocket. <laughs> Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. What are y'all doing? It wasn't vague. It was rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen to reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. Little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. Okay, can we go now? Like, for real? Like, like what are we doing? Watching something in. 12k. You guys notice anything weird about this place? You mean besides the comms going dead for no reason? There was a reason. You collided with that column of scrap. You what? I was dodging a hailstorm of flaming debris. And the comms went out before that. You know, I've seen these big mining ships before, but I don't remember ever seeing a Katathian starfighter in the war. Manos ordered his invaders to raise most of our fleets and demolish our factories before we could respond. Surely you knew that. Actually, uh, I didn't. I had nothing to do with what happened to your people. But 
you were familiar with this tactic. I... Yes. Of course you were. <clears throat> Bro! Careful! Well, you got some time and we got company. Oh, oh yeah, get the punch back, the punch back. <laughs> to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Clarknard's on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it, and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Yeah! Right. Ain't gonna lie, that got me motivated, too. are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind me. Excuse me? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. It's almost insulting. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Oh. Our monster has arrived. I see it. Good. Oh, 
crap, the door, we... Uh, that works. Let's catch our monster. Man, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra if it is poisonous. That's one less thing I need. Good thinking, Well, No, um... Okay. Let loose, Rocket! Are we even sure this is the right creature? Trust him, the tech. It's gotta be. I think it's playing with us. A game we will win. Where is it? Hala, that thing stinks. What? I don't smell anything. <laughs> This beast is proving formidable. I have a good feeling about this one. Every time I try to lock on into the locket. Maybe try calling it like a pet. Here, monster. Who's a good monster? Bad creature, come face your punishment. Hey, Quill, want to see some fireworks? I have missed the thrill of the hunt. I think Drax needs a timeout. Somebody just grab it! Vile thing, stop moving! I tried to get Groot to grab it, but all of a sudden, for some reason, he's not highlighted we anymore. We should have brought a net. A Katathian hunter needs no net. Let's do this. Abomination, perhaps you speak its language. Ugly, smelly, it has more in common with you. It's okay, buddy. Groot don't like things that move fast. Are we even sure this is the right creature? Trust him, the tech. It's gotta be. Playing with us! Could be a trap! This beast is too formidable, but it can still run. Gotta be some way to slow it down. Root! Hard time time! <laughs> what the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! Whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Drax, go! What? No, that's just a literal figure of speech. No, what are you talking about? Someone give me a hand. Am I right? How about one upside the head? 
Direction you want to. Time to thread the needle. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Like this way through is through. You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get through on my ship. No. That's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are in this hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost. Oh my god, this guy has no sense of humor. The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so good. Truth says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! Crap, 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 crap. The controls are inverted on this part. You want me to take the controls? No. No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. That's the first thing that came to mind before you were about to. If you were going to die, because we're not going to die. We ain't going to make it. Hit the blue button. What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added. Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter. Now is not the time for head to head combat. Please, please. Like Star Fox. Yeah. This is where Andros sleeps. <laughs> How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. That's not a good way of looking at it, but okay. Uh, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Hope. Uh, did you say Hallow's Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is going to hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53 under galactic law ZXB-47. I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? <laughs> Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. <laughs> it is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. 
Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be her boarding party. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? This is right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? <laughs> I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. <laughs> They're, They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket, Cadet Gold. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop the video right here. So y'all holler at me, man. We're gonna get through this. Y'all holler at me.